welcome to my teacher youtube channel hi children i hope to start this channel because of the covid 19 i think this channel will be helpful for you to do a self studies at home today i am going to start the first lesson of the grade 11 in the second term let's discuss compound interest under the lesson percentage this is not a difficult part as the interest on reducing balance. Now let's see what compound interest rate is. Compound interest. We are doing with compound interest. When we deposit when we deposit amount as fixed deposit. When we borrow loans from the bank, the compound interest means calculating the interest for the interest. Now, let's learn this compound interest by solving a problem. Here, did you see the question? The question? The loan amount 10,000, interest rate 5 percent here. Let's first calculate interest for the first year. First year. 10,000 is the loan amount multiplied by 5 over 100. Then 500 rupees. Now we have to calculate the loan amount at the end of the first year. The loan amount is 10,000. Here we calculate the interest for the interest. So we have to add the interest of the first year for this. Then 10,500 rupees. Then interest for second year. Interest, sorry, loan amount for the first, second year is 10,000 500 multiplied by 5 over 100. Then the answer 525 rupees. Now to set the loan, the amount we have to pay, we have to pay the loan amount as well as interest of the first year and the interest of the second year. Amount needed to be paid. Loan amount, interest of the first year, interest of the second year. To set the loan, we have to pay 11,025 rupees. Now, let's see an easy method. Now, loan is 10,000, interest rate is 5% pay. Now, we can directly calculate the Amount needed to settle loan. Let's see. Amount needed. The loan amount is 10,000. To find the loan amount for the amount at the end of the first year, we multiply 10,000 by 105 over 100. Then we have to calculate the interest for the second year. For that, we multiply by 5 over 100. But here we have to calculate the amount needed to settle loan now. So we multiply 105 over 100. Then after simplifying, we can obtain the answer is 11,025 rupees. Both answers are same. We can use this any method to solve problems. Did you see the second question? Here we are not given the loan amount. But we are given the interest rate. That is 10 percentage. We have to set the loan. Uh, here you are given the interest of the second year. Not the interest at the end of the second year. Here you end of the second year you are given interest for the second year. Now let's solve use algebraically. Let's take the loan amount as x. Now, uh, to calculate the 
loan amount at the end of the first year, we multiply loan amount by 110 over 100 because the interest rate 10 percentage, previous 5 percentage. Now here 10 percentage. This is the amount at the end of the first year. Now we are given the interest for the second year that is 1650. Interest for second year. How do we calculate the interest for the second year? Interest of the interest, sorry, loan amount at the end of the first year, we have to multiply it by interest rate that is 10 over 100. Why do we multiply it by 10 over 100? We are going to find the interest. Now, I, I am going to build up an equation. Now, this is equal to 1650 because that is the interest for the second year. Now, let's simplify. Here, we can simplify 11, time, 11 times 1, 11 times 1. Then x equal, we have to multiply it by 115,000. Clear? Now I have finished compound interest. Let's learn the interest on the reduce imbalance in another video. Now I have a request. If this lesson is useful to you, please subscribe my channel and share it with your colleagues. Goodbye.